I just speak a few words. I read in the Sandarbhas that how Krishna's love is the ultimate reality. And interestingly, there are different translations of the passage, but uh, one of the translations is that it's not just in the spiritual world, but even in the material world. And since that time, I have been envisioning, trying to understand various devotional activities in terms of reciprocation. So if you consider when we are trying to share Krishna's message, share through as given to us by Shri Prabhupada. So who are the who are the people we are reciprocating with over here? So in my small understanding, there are four, you could say, stakeholders. We are trying to distribute books to others. So we and the people whom we are connecting with, that's one level. And most of the time, that's all we think about. You know, how can I persuade this person to take a book? Uh, what will what words can I speak? How can I inspire? And that's very important. So that is definitely a reciprocation. But along with that, there is also our reciprocation with Chila Prabhupada. That Chila Prabhupada said, he said many things, many ways in which we could please him, but one of the key ways is by pleasing, by distributing way to please him is by distributing his books. So we are, in one sense, distributing books simply to please Srila Prabhupada. That's our reciprocation with Srila Prabhupada. Then, of course, Prabhupada said that while we all connect with Krishna through our spiritual master and through the lineage, at the same time, Prabhupada said the experience is direct. So we all have our personal relationship with Krishna. So we are trying to please Krishna. And we are reciprocating with Krishna. And so we, when we are trying to distribute books, it's the person in front of us is, is speaking to them. But it's also, we are speaking in a way, we want to please Prabhupada and please Krishna. And it's not just that much. It's also Krishna is in the heart of that devotee. That, put, that person may not be a devotee, you may say, but in the Bhakti philosophy, every soul is ultimately a devotee whether a present devotee or a potential devotee. And just as Prabhupada prayed to Krishna in his Markine Bhagavad Dharma, Alankrita Koribara Kamata Tomar, that Krishna, you will make my words, please make my words understandable. In one lecture, Prabhupada talks about it. What is a devotee's prayer when a devotee is trying to share Krishna's message? So a devotee says that it is Krishna who is speaking in my, is present in my heart, and is prompting me to speak certain words. And as Krishna is present in this person's heart, and Krishna is opening that person's mind and heart to receive, head and heart to receive those words. So when we say, Alankrita Karivara Khomata Toma, that Krishna is saying that, Prabhupada is saying, please ornament my words. What that means is, uh, one, one way of understanding it is that, that actually the Krishna factor works in both places. That's like Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, the seventh chapter, how he facilitates the worship of the devatas for those who want to worship the devatas. He says that I make the faith of those who want to worship the devatas stronger. That tasya tasya achalam shraddha. And then Krishna says, I give the power to the devatas to give the blessings. Mayaiva vihitan hitan. So if Krishna can do this for the devatas and for the worshippers of devatas who are not directly connected with him, they are in the house of the Vedas, but not in the heart of the house, not in the sanctum sanctorum. So if Krishna can do that for the devatas and their worshippers, Krishna can surely do that for his devotees when they are trying to serve. So that same dynamic that Krishna, from within our heart, will give us the words to speak. And Krishna, from within their hearts, will actually give them the receptivity, will give them the openness to understand, to accept. So it is the Krishna magic working. And because it is the Krishna magic, it is Krishna magic working, 
it is an opportunity for us to in one sense become to go beyond self consciousness outreach in any form it forces us to become conscious of something beyond ourselves so sometimes we think i'm going to speak the best possible lines i have exactly what it takes to speak to pursue this person and we speak it all and the person seems to have just a blank face and sometimes we feel that this person is not going to listen is not likely to understand I, even talking with this person is a waste of time but then we just speak something and that person is like lights go off in their head and their eyes so we can see that there is something beyond us that is working through us so this is the krishna magic working in their hearts and working in our hearts and that's the loving reciprocation that we have an opportunity to enter into but we would like to in one sense distribute as many books as possible but along with that and possibly more important than that is that we want to enter into this world of krishna consciousness where we see the krishna magic happening around us and through us and not only that it is actually at one level krishna who wants to satisfy and please his pure devotees and therefore because krishna wants to please his pure devotees so what happens Krish- so for example krishna is here prabhupad is here and we and the person to whom we are speaking are in between so basically prabhupad wants to glorify krishna and krishna wants to glorify shri prabhupad and we just become fortunately caught in the cross current of their reciprocation so because prabhupad wants to glorify krishna the so prabhupad has written books and given us books to distribute and because krishna wants to glorify shri prabhupad so krishna gives us the words to do things even beyond our capacities by which we can reach far more people than what we thought we would normally be able to reach so this is an opportunity for us to become caught in a in a fortunate cross current some people are unfortunate there are two parties who are fighting and somebody gets caught in the cross fire that's unfortunate but here there is a cross current the reciprocation of love between shri prabhupada and krishna and each one of us has the opportunity to get caught in the cross current those who get caught in a cross fire often get wounded or killed but those who get caught in this cross current of reciprocation of love between prabhupada and krishna between their mutual desires to glorify each other they get empowered they get transformed and it is this transformative experience that each one of us has the opportunity to have so when we are distributing sharing spiritual wisdom by distributing books it's not just we trying to do something over there there are multiple loving reciprocations happening and it is an opportunity for us to enter into this world of love and gradually realize how more with more and more experience and conviction that it is krishna's love that is the ultimate reality thank you very much hare krishna